I'm a molecular biologist and I'm now Master of Trinity College, Cambridge. Probably the most important contribution has been the development of technologies for making therapeutic antibodies. This has led to a revolution in the pharmaceutical industry and antibodies are now major drugs. What drives me? Science is fun. It's fun to make discoveries and it's fun to work in a team with other scientists. It's a primordial thing. Imagine a tribe going off into the jungle to hunt and it's all in a good cause, finding new medicines. One factor that's been crucial for my development as a scientist has been the freedom to pursue my own ideas. My funding came from Trinity College and from the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology and they've always given me complete freedom to do what I want to do. As importantly, I've been in the right place at the right time with the right skills. The MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology is a great institution and attracted great scientists such as Cesar Milstein and Fred Sanger. Shortly after I joined the laboratory as a student, Cesar Milstein discovered how to make monoclonal antibodies and Fred Sanger how to read the sequence of DNA. The, the atmosphere was exhilarating and it inspired us to think big. I thought about creating a new world of engineered proteins and in due course found a niche creating therapeutic antibodies. The science alone wasn't sufficient to turn these inventions into medicines. I had to get involved with writing patents and more generally with the commercial world. In 1990, I even had to set up a company, Cambridge Antibody Technology. So I went from being a scientist, to an inventor, to an entrepreneur. My next objective is to solve a problem with antibodies. They're quite large molecules and uh, don't easily get from the blood into the tissues and into tumours. To overcome this, we're developing bicyclic peptides as small antibody mimics, capable of quickly penetrating tissues and killing tumours. I've set up another company, Bicycle Therapeutics, which is based at the Babraham Science Campus just outside Cambridge. I have several personal connections with Aarhus University. I knew the late Professor Brian Clark, and I know both Peter Christensen and Luis Alvarez Valina, who were postdoctoral workers in my laboratory in Cambridge. We might even work together again. Uh, there's certainly enough common interest and background. Greg Winter is a pioneer in the field of therapeutic monoclonal and clonal antibodies and the inventor of breakthrough techniques for making them for medical treatment. Today, these techniques are used in more than two thirds of the antibody products currently on the market, including the first human antibody, which was approved by the US FDA and sold under the name Humira. Craig Winter's outstanding work with ant human antibodies has laid the foundation for many modern uh, medical treatments and he is one of the few scientists that truly can say uh, that he, uh, which, who can truly say that his contribution has been to the benefit of society. Craig Winter is also an entrepreneur having founded several successful uh, biotech companies. Craig Winters has an impressive scientific curriculum and has, through the, his outstanding achievements, won several prestigious international prizes. He is Fellow of the Royal Society and Fellow of the Academy of Medical Sciences. In 2004, Greg Winter was knighted for his service to science, and 2012, he became the Master of Trinity College in Cambridge. Greg Winter has a long tradition for working with Aarhus University and has visited uh, our university several times. Dear Sir Gregory Winter, on this background, it is my greatest privilege and pleasure to confer upon you the degree Dr. Scientarium Honoris Causa at Aarhus University. <laughs>